Leagues for Trailblazer Reloaded Rewards. I am actually kind of excited about these. I just briefly glanced through them, and some of these look absolutely sick. So now people have told me Trail the original League's Trailblazer number two was incredible. I didn't play that. I didn't play one or two. I just watched them. Uh, I did try out Leagues 3, and I burnt out after like three or four days, and people were like, yeah, Leagues 3 wasn't that good, but Trailblazer was absolutely insane, so apparently the like the majority of the community is very excited that they are doing a Trailblazer Reloaded, so who knows? If these cosmetics look badass enough, which they already did, just the fact that I'm just looking at this blowpipe, like Jesus Christ, and this fucking pool <laughs> right now, like... I'm sorry, like I actually would probably do this one and I'd probably do it on my main account. So, <clears throat> I mean, obviously, if I want this on my main. So, let's take a look. Uh, this should just be a fun blog to just go over and share my thoughts on some of these, uh, all, all these cosmetics and just overrides. So, okay. Well, let's check out this first piece of feedback. Players were wondering why we didn't include the Din's Bulwark cosmetics we previously spoke about. After some internal discussion with the team, we've decided to include an ornament kit for the Din's Bulwark. Oh, okay. That's that's good to know. Okay, because I, I did see that. All right. You've been asking for more leagues from the moment Leagues 3 Shattered Relics ended, and it's no secret which one has been your favorite so far. If you missed it, you've de we've decided to resurrect a classic league with a fresh lick of paint. <laughs> Get ready for Leagues Forward Trailblazer Reloaded. For those unaccustomed, Leagues is a temporary game mode where you'll start as a completely fresh account separate from your main account. Initially, you'll be area locked to Missilin and Karamja, where all our journeys began. As before, you'll be able to unlock other areas after completing tasks and accumulating points. But choose wisely, as you can only unlock three additional regions. The more regions you have available, the more tasks you'll be able to complete, and the more points you'll get. With those points, you'll be able to spend them on fancy cosmetic rewards that you can purchase for your main game save. And that's exactly what we're talking about today. So whether you're an avid leagues player or didn't play Trailblazer the first time, you're in for a real treat. And don't worry, you can check out Leagues 4 Trailblazer Reloaded News Post if you want more information about the coming league. We'll have some more teasers and treats for you in the coming months related to Trailblazer Reloaded, but for now, let's talk rewards. Please note, these are all concepts for each of the rewards to give an idea of how they would look in-game. All right, returning rewards. First, let's talk about the rewards that always make their return during leagues to show off your participation during this limited time game mode. Trailblazer Reloaded Outfit. Each of the previous leagues had, dis had three distinct rewards that featured with each new addition, the banner, home teleport animation, and the outfit. Let's start off with the latter and talk about Fashionscape you can obtain in Trailblazer Reloaded. This outfit combines elements of the Shazian area of Karend, which is accessible in this version of Trailblazer. That, oh yeah, they did say that, that Zaya's. I wonder if it's all of Zaya. Is it just like, is all of Zaya an area? Jesus Christ, I'm pretty sure everyone's going to pick that. With the theming of this league's and the symbol of Rebirth itself, fire. This outfit has three versions, which will give you your fashion scape more flair with each higher tier three in total okay these look these look pretty sick those that hat looks pretty sick is that like an actual flame that's going to be on your fucking hair <laughs> like what or is this just like a little ribbon uh, we'll see okay um trailblazer reloaded banner okay this thing nobody ever this thing the why why are there still banners i'm i'm sorry i'm not a fan of banners i think they're just so weird. Like, they have... Actually, you can attack with them, can't you? I, I forgot about that. I think you can stab with them. I've never I've never held a banner. Whenever I see them in a clue scroll, I just get bothered. All right. What better, what better way to show off... There's so many better ways to show off your participation than flying the Trailblazer Reloaded colors high in the sky as you follow your friends in a circle around the Grand... I guess it is a Grand Exchange flex. That's true. I haven't been there in a while. The Trailblazer Reloaded Banner will have the theming of the League, much like the outfit above, and will be a purely cosmetic item to showcase your time spent playing Leagues 4. Trailblazer Reloaded Home Teleport Animation. Do you want to spice things up a bit when clicking the iconic blue circle to head home and show the world that you gotta go fast? Much like another speedy blue circle. Then look no further with the home, then the home teleport animation you'll be able to nab from the reward shop. 
This cosmetic override for the home teleport will have you speeding off into the sunset at speeds unseen by the citizens of Gilinor, whilst leaving some fiery evidence behind to showcase your disappearance. That's pretty cool. Yeah, they actually do a really good job. You know what would actually be kind of cool? Ooh, this would actually be very controversial. Let me know down in the comments, guys. Like, would you be okay if Jagex were to, like, rework um, some of the emotes that we currently have in game? I feel like their emotes nowadays are just, like, so much more fire. Now, obviously, changing classic emotes, like the dance, would be uh, unsettling. Don't do that. But, like, there's some that nobody... Like, the, the yes... Have you guys ever actually used the nod emote, like the yes, where it's just like literally, like it looks like you're having a fucking like spasm or something? Like we could change that, you know? Like we could have a more like yes or something, like some sort of yes emote. Like I don't know. I feel like there's some that are just actually so bad. And the fact that Jagex can actually create incredible animations now, I think we should look at that readjust some of the even just some not all before we you know don't go too crazy on them leagues trophy while we don't have the concepts ready to show you just yet you could bet your bottom dollar that leagues four will be returning with those coveted trophies what better way to show off you just said the bet what the what what is the better way the fucking banner or the trophy uh, what better way to show off your skill and dedication to the league than the untradeable trophies <laughs> just gonna say that with every goddamn thing um Ranging from bronze to dragon. The trophies can be held in the offhand. Oh, okay. I guess you can do both. So you can have the fucking banner in your trophy. There you go. Uh, what better way? <clears throat> Aside from dragon, rune, and adamant, which are two-handed. Ooh. Wait, what? Um, the trophies can be held in the offhand slot. Aside from dragon, rune. Oh, but okay. Interesting. What better way to show off your participation with a, draw, a bronze fucking trophy in a... I don't know, banner. Okay. Um, and we'll have a unique emote that you can access by right-clicking them. Don't want to make them part of your fashion scape? Save your hands from the heavy lifting and store them in your POH via the trophy case. Okay. New rewards. Now that we've talked about the classic rewards, let's move on to what's completely new and shiny. With the return of the most iconic league, with a twist, of course, we thought about giving you cosmetics that would touch on some of the most iconic things in-game that you would see and use, whether you're just starting out or a long-time old-school veteran. While some of them give you the cosmetic overrides for items you would expect, we've also looked at some other areas that are just as commonly used to mix up the variety of rewards offered from the from these league. From these league. Let's see what... They've got what we've got. Oh, my God. I'm struggling. Din's Bulwark Ornament Kit. Oh, my God. Okay, this thing was originally going to be, like, charged with... Oh, my God. Look at that. That's a fucking Zuck Helm, like, th th thing on, like, topping. <laughs> like, Jesus. This is out of control. This was... Wasn't this the original thing that was supposed to be proposed from completing the inferno like a second time or something or like paying 10 onyxes or so imagine an onyx sink now nah, but just fucking give it to people for free um so let's give this my i mean i'm i'm not complaining really but like it's yeah anyway sometimes i just want item sinks and gold sinks but whatever so let's give this mighty shield the ability to look like one of the toughest pieces of content in game the inferno taking inspiration from the big tizkal zook himself and his Lava Cap Shield, we've seen this cosmetic highly requested. We think it's about time the Bulwark gets some love. That is going to look so fucking epic. Imagine saying epic in 2023, but I did. This is going to look so fucking epic, like, around the game. Like, the, like an actual Zuck Shield, like, that floats in the lava. Like, you're fucking wielding it. Like, holy shit. Um, I still... I wish the Bulwark still worked at Corp. Like, I still got to get my Ellie eventually. And... If we still had the bulwark meta where like it would hit twice back then, it only worked like that for like a couple weeks, I'm pretty sure. But man, if you could use this during it, woo! Toxic Blowpipe Ornament Kit. Since the release of Zolra, the Toxic Blowpipe has been one of the most iconic ranged weapons in game. So we thought it was about time to give this well loved weapon its due with a blaze themed. Blazing themed recolor for the newest league. Not only that, but we want to change the coloring of a special attack projectile to fit alongside the fiery look of Trailblazer Reloaded. That's so cool. Um, what does that say? 
real progeny. I don't know what this is. Uh, whilst we are aware that there have been player proposals around the blowpipes like before using the in-game magma mutagen and solar drops, we feel like a cosmetic variant coming from this league would make for a real great start. <laughs> that being said, we are keen to hear your thoughts around the cosmetic variant currently proposed. Okay, what? I mean, okay, listen, this thing looks fucking sick. Don't get me wrong. But this is completely like devaluing a potential future magma mutagen uh like blowpipe you know what i mean like this already kind of looks like what the magma one would be um that's really not that big of a deal but i thought jagex said they couldn't make cosmetic blowpipes right or like they just didn't want to so now now they want it i mean that's fine i'm just like what about what like what about the magma and the whatever whatever this looks cool this really does look cool, actually. So what's up with... Is this, like, supposed to be a, a dog face or, like, a dragon face? Or just, like... I'm confused about this. It looks sick, though. Rejuvenation pool... Oh, this is insane. Okay, the rejuvenation pool ornament kit. The player-owned house is one of the most essential things to make your time in Gilinor all the more glorious as it offers you a wide variety of important utilities so your adventuring is all the more satisfying. One of the most important features you can build is a rejuvenation pool, a one-stop shop to give you the refresh you need before, during, or after a long fight. The only time we've done a different variant of the pool was around the Christmas event. This change will only affect the Ornate version of the rejuvenation pool, so we suggest you constantly rebuild your in-house table to benefit from this cosmetic reward. That looks so fucking sick. I wonder how the flames are going to look. Like... Some some flames in RuneScape, like the torches you see on walls, like some of those look so bad. But yeah, I wonder what the well, I wonder what this is actually gonna look like like in game, you know. But this looks absolutely insane. Just drinking from fire. Like holy fuck. Okay. Alchemy animation. Now on to something we've not done outside of the league's themed home teleport. Some of the most iconic spells in game are seen time and time again as players run around the world, casting them alongside their adventures. Aside from teleports, one of the most iconic is alchemy, a great way to get funds quickly without needing to go to the Grand Exchange or a shop for you iron players out there. We want to give this notable spell a fiery themed animation to match the league. They should have made it a little bit more orange. This just looks like the typical one, right? Kind of a little bit. Yeah. Um, make it fire. Make it like a little flame, like some smoke. That would be cool. A little like smoke finish, you know? Like, holy shit. Like just a little smoke. All right. Alchemy. Wait, this is alchemy animation. So what did this say? <laughs> I don't. I still don't know what this is. Okay. Vengeance animation. From the standard spellbook to Lunar, the other spell we want to give the cosmetic treatment to is Vengeance. A spell used by PVMers and PVPers alike, we'd like to give it that penance stare feeling and give that iconic red skull some beautiful hellfire to surround it, allowing you to put fear straight into your foe's soul. Looks pretty sick. I'm not gonna lie, like these are some fantastic ideas. Like who would have who would have honestly th thought like an ornate pool? you know, different anime cosmetic override would be a good idea. Like that just like doesn't come to your head generally. You're thinking of generally like equipable items. This is fucking nuts. Like this alone is insane. Um, but all of these are really cool. Okay. Death respawn animation. Finally, let's talk about death. Something that's common to old school players and is part of every player's journey, even hardcore Iron Man eventually. There is something notable about making another player sit or just knowing it's over when your player drops to their knees in defeat. Well, with this final reward, we'd like to give you a bit of a more dramatic way out as your character bursts into fire, leaving their booties behind like some platforming orange marsupial. Not only that, but you'll spawn back in around fire and be born again like a phoenix rising from the ashes oh that is okay if we can do this we need to do the teleport thing you know what i'm you know what i'm talking about guys the reddit post of the teleport animation where you go and then when you actually get to your next place you spawn in but you can instantly move this by the way this respawn animation 
you need to be able to like instantly move. It's not that important with death generally, because generally when you die, you just sit there anyway. But like with teleporting, you need to be able to move instantaneously. Damn, that's cool. That's that's pretty cool. Okay. That's everything for the rewards and leagues for Trailblazer Reloaded. We hope that the rewards and theming of them give you some extra incentive to come and participate in the newest league this winter and give you something else to flex your time in this temporary game mode. This is by far the coolest rewards I've seen for any of the leagues. Like, this is just absolutely insane. Like, these first two are kind of basic and like the trophy, but these these are insane. Like, holy shit. Well, well done, Jagex. Um, so yeah, and none of them are like too crazy. Like, I think the craziest one that we've ever seen is like the, um, like the Fortnite cannon, um, which I'm, I wasn't necessarily against. It's just like, that was just like, whew, like that is just a lot going on, like a huge override. A lot of these are still like, I don't know, like this blowpipe's not going absolutely crazy. It's just a red tint. And then like the flame, the pool, of course, is looks fucking dope. It's still a pool. Um, yeah, all of these just fit really well, I think. So well done. Um, this actually is pretty motivating to uh, to look at. Just like I, I'd probably actually be willing to do Trailblazer like simply for some of these. Like I'd love to get the Ornit Pool. Like that Ornit Pool in my fucking house would look so dope. So uh, what was the other one I liked? I mean, the death animation is awesome. Like all of these are cool, but like if I could only pick like three, definitely be Bulwark. Uh, eh, probably, probably blowpipe, I guess. And probably ornit. Ah, I like the death anime. The thing is I don't die much. Well, I do die a lot actually technically, but, um, yeah. Okay. These are really cool. Uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I'm pretty sure everyone's just going to be thinking these are dope as hell. So, uh, yeah. And let me think. Oh, if let me, well, I will, I'm, I'll address this a little bit later, but, um, I appreciate the discussion we had on the, uh, what's it, the Scar Essence Mine. Um, I'm glad we could just have some discussion in the live setting. I don't know if you guys were there for my live stream, but we did end up getting a lot of things resolved, generally speaking. Um, honestly, I'm, just, I'm a little upset that Jagex is just immediately going to polling with this. I feel like if we, if the community does agree that the Scar Essence Mine is a good addition to the game, I can concede that, but we really could have looked at the 250k number being dropped um, substantially or even just slightly. Like seriously, if they could have just dropped that to 100k, that would make me feel a lot better. 250k is still extreme. I still am pretty, um, yeah, I'm not, it's whatever. It's probably coming to the game because they're pulling it without addressing any other thing. So that's whatever, if that's what people want. Uh, so anyway, yeah, I feel like there was, we, I was just talking about that a lot. So luckily it's just getting pulled and we can just move past it. But, um, yeah, I still have strong thoughts on this game. Still want skilling to be good in the future. I want substan substantial changes to be made. <clears throat> um, and yeah, we'll see. Uh, cause now, you know, if we made a good room crafting update, it would, now it's really going to feel slow, even if it does boost up to 20, 30 K, 40 K blood runes the fact that now you can have 250k you know with a price I'm, I'm i know that there's a price attached to it um i don't know i just i worry i guess with future updates because now there really is not that much incentive to do it uh you might as well just do the highest gp thing as a uh iron man and then just go you know craft a lot more so we'll, we'll see um, how that goes down once it's implemented in the game. But uh, we can move past it now. And yeah, so I'm looking forward to this. Looking forward to uh, what Jagex has in store for the rest of the year. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.